American Video Game Players League presents the Video Game Guide. And now, here's the captain of the All-Star Team, Ron. Welcome, I'm Ron, and I'm the captain of the All-Star Team. Our team and this video are sponsored by the American Video Game Players League, and we'd like to thank them for giving us the opportunity to show you some of our secrets and hints. Now you can score higher and go farther. And if you want some information on how to start your own team, at the end of this video, we'll give you the address. Now let's meet my teammates. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm James. Yo, dudes, hi, I'm Sharon. Now that we know everybody, let's show them how it's done. And here's Jennifer playing Legendary Wings. 20,000 years in the future, mankind has built a giant supercomputer named Dark to rule the planet. For hundreds of years, Dark has governed with wisdom and justice. But now, the unthinkable has happened. Dark is malfunctioning, and humanity is writhing in the grasp of a ruthless tyrant. Dark has built a fleet of robot warships to patrol the skies, and has created an army of mutant monsters to guard the underground bases from which he now terrorizes mankind. Lulled by hundreds of years of peace, the people of Earth are defenseless against the minions of Dark. But two brave young men, following an ancient legend of Greek mythology, have devised mechanical wings to bear them aloft in search of Dark's hidden fortress. If you fail, mankind is lost. Take wing, legendary soldiers. Move from side to side at the beginning, and you'll get all of the bombers. Collect the power spots with the P. Always remember to avoid the smoke. Shoot the hide eye in the center to enter a bonus stage where you get lots of points and energy. Fly right up on these types of statues and you'll be able to shoot them right in the head and you'll make it through. A flying lizard will come out of the building. You must shoot him in the head. Avoid this power-up P. You'll lose more than you'll gain. Take your time and fire in the mouth like this. When the screen starts flashing, you've succeeded. This is called a flame shot. Very effective against many objects all at once. Another bonus stage hidden in the hide eye. Collect the hearts. These will allow you to continue the play. If you pick up four items consecutively at last power up, you will obtain a firebird. They will allow you to take two direct hits and keep going. Don't let the pillar trap you as the scene scrolls by. To make it through the attack of the flying bees, stay low and fire often. You must get your shot inside and hit the flashing part to do any good. Be careful. The pluck are dangerous. Shoot them as quickly as you can. Another bonus stage hidden on the right. Go for it! You must shoot all of these mechanical monsters before you can get to the end of this level. Watch out for the flying eyeballs. They're dangerous. The flame shot is the best for this area because you have so many things coming at you. Watch out for the moles which cross this canyon area. <laughs> Let's see what Ron's doing. And here's Ron playing Joust. In the medieval age, knights were proving their skills and bravery by playing the game called Joust. 
in the future well beyond our knowledge, the Knights of Hyperspace are playing their version of Joust. They saddle up the space ostrich and fight with aliens. You must adjust yourself to this unknown environment called hyperspace. You are not fighting for fame or glory. You are fighting for your own life. Knock the aliens off before they get to you. It is not an easy task, but somebody must do it. Can you be the survivor of this space fight? Good luck. Believe me, you will need it. You have a temporary safety until you touch your controller. Try to position your space ostrich high on the screen so you can attack more effectively. If you knock the alien off his ostrich and get his egg mid-air, you'll get both points. Watch out for the pterodactyle! Collect the eggs before they hatch and score 250 to 1,000 points. If they hatch, they will remount and attack you again. Try to move fast when going through wave 5, the egg wave, and you'll go right to wave 6. The further you go, the less layers there are, and less protection. Be careful of the troll's hands in the fire pit. They can grab you, or they will grab the aliens and stop you from going past them. You can kill them by attacking the alien on top of the troll's hand. That game was awesome. Let's look at the next one. And here's James playing Rampage. Feeling frustrated? Want to cut loose? Then go on a rampage. Become George the Ape or Lizzie the Lizard. Go from city to city, smashing buildings and punching helicopters. You can cause serious trouble from coast to coast. But it's getting so a monster can't have any good clean fun anymore. There's gunfire, dynamite, poisonous food, rivers. Even your fellow monsters may pound on you. So go ahead. Stomp L.A. Trash New York. When was the last time you got to punch out a skyscraper anyway? Try to hit the helicopters. They're worth 3,000 points. The trucks, when you smash them, are worth 1,500 points. You can catch the soldiers, which will stop them from throwing the dynamite. When a building starts to smoke at the bottom, jump off so you don't lose life points. Taxi cabs are worth 1,500 points also, so smash them! As you knock holes in the building, you will see food hidden like milk, turkey, toast, coffee, melon, hamburger, and the fish bowl. If you eat them, they give you more energy. Don't let the lightning hit you, because it causes you to lose a lot of energy. You have to work your way through all 50 states. Good luck! When they turn black, you have succeeded. Don't eat the poison. It's bad for you. Bathtubs should be knocked away. They are no good to eat. This is a bonus stage. Search for the mega vitamin. When you find it, eat it. It'll restore all of your health. Now let's see what Sharon's doing. And here's Sharon playing Secret Castle. Welcome to the land of Hudson's Secret Castle, where people use music to communicate with each other. From the north, an evil warlord and his demons attack the people of Hudson and rob them of their musical instruments. 
Hudson's Queen Eliza is captured deep inside the secret castle. You must save Queen Eliza and get the musical instruments back. This will not be an easy task. The secret castle has many different rooms, and each room is a maze filled with demons, secret passages, and doors. However, Queen Eliza has hidden many helpful tools, instruments, and money in every room to help you. Use bubbles to help you find the places where they are hidden. You are Hudson's last hope. Good luck! Catch the umbrella to have Mylon shoot his bubble rapid fire. Here is hidden one of the music boxes, and you will advance to this bonus stage. Try to collect the sharp notes and be sure to avoid the flats. You can only continue after you have collected the first crystal ball. Look for hidden shops like this one behind the stones. With the money that you save, you can buy hints or items which you will need. Here is a hidden honeycomb. It will give you extra energy. When you find the Hudson Bee, you will get this protection shield for a short period of time. You need to buy the shoe so that you can jump higher to get through the tougher rooms. When you have the right shoes on, the benches will spring you up. Another important hidden honeycomb to restore your energy. A Hudson B for another protection shield. You will need that shield to get past the demon monster. Now you can go to the upper levels. Honeycombs are hidden. Look for them to restore energy. To beat the red demon, you must have your shield and full energy. With the fire vest, you won't be hurt by the flames as fast. You'll lose energy, but not so quickly. Here is another hidden honeycomb. Now, how to get it? Shoot the column and the space above will be blown out and you can catch yourself on the edge. You have to run fast to get across the planks here. At the bottom of the room is the word Hudson and at the right side of the screen is a hidden shop. You can use your shrink potion to get out of this room. You need to go down the well out the side of the castle to go through an important level. It's dark, but if you do this on the left side, you get in more light. Hey, let's check out what Bob's doing. And here's Bob playing Golgo 13. Only you can help him save the world. He's Golgo 13, the legendary agent who's never failed on a mission. Now, he's facing his toughest challenge, to recover a stolen vial of Cassandra G, the deadliest weapon in the history of biological warfare. But he can't do it without your help. Join forces with Golgo 13 on an action-packed odyssey to recapture Cassandra G before it is unleashed on the human race. Whether he succeeds or not is up to you, and every second counts. When the mode changes to this gun sight, it's helpful to keep watch on the information provided at the bottom of the screen. It will tell you how many of each type of attacker is left. There is a fake base under Berlin which has gray walls. You need to find the base with the blue walls. Look for a blue door to enter. It's important in this game to read all of the messages the other characters tell you. Golgo will need all information possible to accomplish his mission.
You must go into this underwater room to find the base. Shoot the bomber right in the back. The strange flying object you must shoot in the center. When Golgo is in Athens, you must first go to the Athens Hotel. After visiting the hotel, go just right of the Parthenon and press up on the controller. This will bring you to the Aegean Sea. Shoot the blast to save life energy. You should always take care not to step on the mines. You will lose life energy. When traveling through the maze, it's helpful to either have a map or make your own. When you encounter barriers, you can use your hand grenades to break through them. Jump carefully over the mines. One wrong step and your history. When entering a mazed area, it's important to have three of the hand grenades shown at the bottom left. To continue or go from one level to the next, when you see this picture of Golgo, you must press and release the start button on controller one. Then push the up position on the control pad while pressing down on the A and B buttons. Then push the up and left position on control pad two while pushing the A and B buttons. Then press the start again on controller one and you should see double O like this. Now, select any stage up to 13. You can stop a lot of life energy loss if you shoot the sub right away. Then get those jets. Be careful of the black objects. They are floating mines. Let's see what Jennifer's doing. Thank you, Bob. And here's Jennifer playing Adventures of Lolo. In the adventure of Lolo, you enter a treacherous medieval castle. You must save Layla from the evil devil's empire. To get there, you face many obstacles and a series of perplexing mazes. Good luck. Layla is counting on you. It is important when playing Lolo to understand how all of the objects on each screen work. Here we are using a block to stop the fire blasts of Gaul. Once you Egger shot an object twice, Lolo can flip the object off the screen. Pre-planning is a must. In this puzzle, we are trapping the sleeping skulls. Be careful of the Rockies. They will try to trap you. Arma can really run fast. Try to figure a way to trap him like this. A fake out helps. Trees do not stop the cursing gaze of Medusa, so you must protect Lolo with blocks. After you collect all of the possible hearts, you may get a useful tool like this rock breaker. Monsters cannot cross the flower beds. Use that to your advantage. You can change the direction of access with a pass. Squirrels can be moved to block monsters. Put the bridge out to cross rivers. Blocks can be pushed across, but skulls and other monsters can cross too. Here's one way of getting rid of Arma. Skulls and squirrels can be egged, which then float like a boat. It's the only way to get onto some islands. Leva falls asleep when you collide with them. If you plan it right, 
Lolo will be able to finish the puzzle. Lolo is a game of planning. The best advice for playing is to think ahead. <laughs> that game is rad. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, back to James. The most advanced Cobra attack helicopter ever built is at your command. You'll fly alone into a deadly no man's land where enemy choppers, tanks, soldiers, cannons and warships are all aiming to blast you out of the sky. Helpless hostages are counting on you to rescue them as you make your way to enemy headquarters for your final assault. This is where the first hidden base is located. To enter, you must shoot the disc shape at the top of the building. Once you reach what seems like a dead end, you must shoot the square in the center. If you see a platform like this, it is an arms depot. Land on it, and you will receive a lot of good stuff. When you reach the end of the first hidden base, you must go back three times to get all the hostages. Be careful of these missiles. Timing is a must. Move very slowly for best results. The second hidden base is here. If you have successfully collected all the hostages, when you shoot the square at the top of this building, access will be given. Once the hostages have grabbed the rope, you can fly off without waiting. This will help you from being a sitting duck. If you wait for the missile launcher to go back and forth three times, he'll leave the screen without harming you. You must save all the hostages to be able to go from section to section. Now let's see what Ron's doing. And here's Ron playing Bionic Commando. For two years, your people have struggled against the relentless onslaught of invading forces. With your army reduced to a handful and your artillery depleted, further resistance seems impossible. But in a hidden underground laboratory, a team of scientists has at least perfected a new kind of fighting machinery a bionic arm that extends and contracts, providing unheard of strength and maneuverability. Combined with an arsenal of rapid-fire, armor-piercing and heat-seeking weaponry, this will put the power of an entire army in the hands of one man, one carefully chosen soldier who has what it takes to become a new breed of unstoppable commando, a bionic commando. And you are the soldier. As you can see, you have your hands full at the end of each area. Stick with it and fire your shots directly into the reactor. In the neutral zone, you may encounter the leader of the Imperial forces, Mr. Kilt. Do not shoot him. If you do, this will happen. It's a trick. You will have a chance to destroy him later. It is important to go to neutral zones. There, you can collect weapons and tools you will need later. Talk to the soldiers. They may give you some hints like this one. Be sure you pick the flare-up to use in Area 4. Be sure to find and go into the communications room. You will have a choice of talking with your friend or the enemy by selecting a wiretap or not. But this only works if you have the right communicator. Once again, be familiar of your bionic arm movement. Good timing and skill is needed to cross this area. This time, the parachute is holding a POW. The POW will protect you for seven seconds. 
When you encounter this soldier, shoot him before you fall. In this neutral zone, go to the third man. He will tell you how to get a machine gun. Whenever you see this object, collect it with your bionic arm and you will have your energy restored. This is another difficult spot. You must avoid the flying clams and man-eating flowers. You can use your bionic arm as a weapon against the clams like this. You must cross this dangerous area to get to the end of this level or area. It takes some time, but it can be done. When you attack the enemy, you will see wings lying on the ground. Pick them up. They will allow you to continue the game. Be careful of the barrier soldiers. They have a deadly ray. Move around them. This is one of the more difficult spots. When you reach the top of the tower and enter the room, be careful of the large mechanical device. It must be destroyed before you can complete this area. Even a powerful weapon like the rocket launcher can be stopped by this defender's shield. But use your bionic arm to accomplish your mission. If you go into a communication room and get ga ga ga, you have the wrong communicator. Selecting a weapon can be done with this screen. If you choose the wrong one, this will happen. Use this to locate your position. Red squares are neutral zones. To leave an area simultaneously, press Start A, B. That game was awesome. Thank you, Ron. And here's Sharon playing Bomberman. Bomberman is a robot engaged in the production of bombs. Like his fellow robots, he had been put to work in an underground compound at the center of the Earth. Bomberman found it to be an unbearably dreadful existence. One day, he learned that any robot escaping from the center of the Earth and making it to the surface will become human. Bomberman jumped at the opportunity. Alerted to Bomberman's betrayal, large numbers of enemy characters were sent out in pursuit. Bomberman can only rely on bombs of his own production for his defense. Will Bomberman ever make it to the surface? Once there, will he really become human? Try to trap the enemy and plan your explosion so you kill as many as possible. To exit a level, go through the doors, but be sure not to set a bomb off around them. It will mean doom. Power-up panels are hidden under bricks. They give the bombs more boom, and they give you more bombs to set. Protect yourself by hiding behind the concrete squares. To continue, you can enter the code for the level here. We are entering the code for level 11. The more you use the bombs, the stronger they get. Be sure you don't get yourself. Don't hit the doors with a bomb or this will happen. The Ovape can travel through brick walls, which makes them unpredictable. This is the code for level 36, if you want to give it a try. The pass is worth 4,000 points. Try to get him. He's a fast mover. This is what a fuse timer panel looks like. 
This will let you set the bombs off when you want, like this. Hey, let's check out what Bob's doing. And here's Bob playing Adventure Island. You just found out that Princess Leilani was kidnapped by the evil witch doctor and taken to Adventure Island in the South Pacific. You land on Adventure Island without weapons or food. The island is thick with tropical forest, mountains and caves. Hidden on the island are your skateboard, axe, food, and other helpful tools you must find by exploring the island. Better find the weapons and food quickly, because you will need them to fight the witch doctor's spiders, snakes, bats, and demons. The evil witch doctor has set lots of traps for you before you can face him one-on-one. -on -one. Are you up for the challenge? Can you live through Adventure Island to save Princess Leilani? In the egg, useful items are hidden. The skateboard is one of them. It will help you to travel faster. If you wait long enough between the two totem poles, you will be carried off to a secret room where you can get points and extra energy. To continue, there is a hidden egg at the end of the first section. Jump on it, and the bee inside will allow you to continue the game. To kill the blue octopus, you must shoot them twice and you get 200 points. The honey girl makes you invincible for a few seconds. It's best to use the axe to defeat the nine bassers which are attacking you. It's handy to pick up the honey girl to get through the snakes and skeletons. There is a hidden egg which contains a key. Timing is very important at this point. A wrong move will mean disaster. Watch out for the Zygmos! The running coyotes are going to get you lots of bonus points. Be careful when you meet the boss. Jump as high as you can and throw your fireballs at his head. If you do, you'll take off his head. Frogs later in the game will jump at you. Kill them to remove them. A hidden egg contains fireballs, which is an effective weapon. You must keep going up with good timing to get through. Wait for the bassers to come, otherwise they'll get you. Get the milk. It will restore your energy level. Another place where timing is a must. Jump as soon as you land. The Zygmo gets thicker as you go through more levels. You must jump on the second platform to get through. To find hidden levels, throw your axes or fireballs. When they disappear, you know you have something good. <laughs> That's all our games for this volume. Now it's time for us to answer any questions that you have on game playing. Thanks. Now here's our first letter from Mike Scott in Los Angeles, California. Dear American Video Game Players League, I'm having trouble getting past the dinosaur at the end of level three in the game Karnov. How is it done? Good question. Well, Mike, to pass the dinosaur at the end of level three in the game Karnov, you must first get a ladder. Then, when you reach the dinosaur, put the ladder up. Then you'll be able to shoot him in the head. 
You can write in too. <laughs> Share in the address, please. Be sure to send in a picture along with your letter and mail it to Video Game Guide, Post Office Box 14324, San Luis Obispo, California, 93406, and maybe you'll get to see yourself on the air. Thanks, Sharon, and thanks, Jennifer. We all like to see those letters coming in. Well, we have to bail out of here, so we hope to see all of you next time. Bye! Thank you.